So things to know about the weekly. You have zero sanity, which we're going to start off with. You have one minute on the clock. You have two evidence. You do not have a smudge stick, flashlight, or UV. The ghost starts off at 150. You start at 100. And you got a mixture of tier one, tier two gear. What gear to take in first? I would recommend EMF, thermometer, and either crucifix or video camera. If you take in the video camera, that lets you look for the orb. If you take in crucifix, you can find the ghost of the EMF, then put down the crucifix so you've got a crucifix in before one minute. Remember, opening up the gate automatically starts a timer, so don't waste time. Get the gate open, get going. I would start on the two white tent side because of the ghost. If you wait till after you check the tent side, you're one minute's up, and if you get caught on this side, it's harder to get away. So start on this side, then go to the tents because you can always loop the tents to help get away from the ghost. If your weather is snow, you might want to think about just leave and come back. Because finding orbs and getting temps is going to be harder because of the open air and not and most likely not having the ghost in an area. It's going to be out in the open. And getting temps in an open and snow is hard. Make sure before the ghost ever hunts, you want to know your escape plan and where your nearest hiding spot is. So you can loop around the tents. And if there are hiding spots around where the tents are, you can get to them as quick as possible. If you're not bringing in the crucifix at the first, as soon as you figure out the ghost, your next item should be a crucifix at least because you're going to be at zero sanity and your timer is going to be up. So make sure you get the crucifix in to help protect you. If you do have an EMF board, make sure you use it. It's better to check for EMF in here than out in the tents. When moving back and forth from the ghost spot, make sure that you keep line of sight breaks and hiding spots near you at all times. Remember to double and triple check your evidence just in case the first time or the second time you look for it, it wasn't there, it's like ghost orbs not showing up until you come back to it and then you, then you find it, or books, or EMF, or spirit box. When you get your first evidence, go to the van to mark off your evidence. Don't do it next to where the ghost room is because you're working at zero sanity. You don't want the ghost to hunt you while you're in the book. But once you get your first evidence, start looking to see what ghost you have and what ghost to start concentrating on or if you already know that maybe a ghost is not that, you can go ahead and mark it off in the book and not so you don't have to waste time looking for evidence for it or behaviors for it. Once you get your second evidence, you want to do the exact same thing. Make sure you go back to the truck so you're not in the map. If the ghost hunts, mark it off. And then see what ghost you got left and then concentrate on those behaviors that you might have seen or not seen. Remember, if you have a Raiju, a Raiju's fast speed is the same as 150. So the Raiju is never going to change speed uh, during a hunt. But then start marking off ghosts. As soon as you get anything, any behavior that can cross off a ghost, make sure you go in your book and cross that ghost off so you don't waste time looking for it later. As soon as you get your two evidence, make sure you then start bringing in all testing gear for the ghost you have left and try to decide you know, what possibly your ghost could be and be able to start marking off ghosts it can't be. Make sure when you know what the ghost is, and before you leave, mark it off in the book. Last thing you want to do is go back to the lobby and realize that you forgot to mark off the ghost, and it didn't count. This is going to be a new series that I'm going to be doing every week for the weekly, instead of just posting the weekly of me doing the weekly. If you want to see that, that's always on the live stream for YouTube that you could take a look at. But instead, I'm going to start taking the weekly and breaking it down into its little parts of how I would go about beating that weekly for the week and make it quick and short and like, you know, hopefully below five minutes. So if you want to take a look at that, you know, take a look over uh, probably over here somewhere, probably over here, but you know, take a look at the uh, playlist. This is going to be the first one, but there will be more after this. So if you want to mark the playlist, to help you out later every week on the day of the, on every day on Monday, I'll be putting this out. So hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you all later. Bye. Peace.